Hey guys, so tonight I have my Amazon haul for y'all. And since this is such a big box, I'm going to put it down on the floor so I'm not trying to hold it in my lap this entire time. Okay, let's start off with just something very basic and something I've been loving lately. These are a pack of headbands. They are all tie-dye, so freaking cute. I'm like obsessed with them. They feel a little bit big though. I feel like they might like slip back on my head a lot. And that's why I love this one that I've been using because you know, I can tie it to be what I want it to be. So these were like $8 for seven of them. They were $7.99 for seven. So about a dollar a piece. This one was $8, I think, but I don't know. Maybe I can just cut these and then use them as little like tie rounds. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but they're super soft. They're a bunch of pretty colors. I love this like teal and I don't know. I just need stuff to like hold my hair back when I'm trying to wash my face and do my makeup, all that good stuff. So that's the first little item. Now the second thing is something I'm really, really excited about. This is, I have no idea how to say the brand. <laughs> C-N-A-I-E-R. So this is their facial cleansing brush and I do have my Clarisonic and I love it. I really do. But this was $20 off of Amazon and I just, I had to try it. Like something in me, I just could not help myself. So in here you get the brush and then it comes with a head on there and then three more heads, obviously. This one is a silicone kind of spongy head and then one of them is to exfoliate one is like to deep clean one is for daily cleanse and I don't know, it just it seems so so similar to the clarisonic for twenty dollars and you know i can't get the clarisonic heads anymore which i actually needed to get right when they were like announcing that they were closing and i completely forgot to get it but i don't know i'm excited to see how this one works even if it doesn't last but six months or a year you know 20 bucks a year for a really good like cleansing brush i don't feel like it's that bad and this feels really nice and soft so i don't feel like it's gonna like be too rough on my face i don't know if it's charged at all oh. so. so i guess it has two different speeds to it if I'm sure you could hear the difference on those. And I don't know, I will definitely let y'all know how this goes. I'm going to do that like summer makeup haul where I get everything that I can gather together from all of the hauls that I've done over the summer and kind of like tell y'all what I think about everything now that I've had a couple of months to play around with it. So I will let y'all know how this works out in that video. I guess I'll show y'all this too. This is, if y'all have kids, you might be interested. It is called the Magic Water Word Cards. And honestly, these are letters, numbers, shapes, and colors. They came with two of these little markers. You just put water in them. And let's say Parker is not very good at just drawing on his paper. He likes to color the walls and dressers, night side table, you know, that kind of thing. So we are going to be using these. You fill them up with water and then you can color on here and you can like, that makes different things show up. So since he's not going to be in preschool this year, like I was really hoping he was going to be in, I'm trying to get different things together just, you know, so he can be learning something. He knows his colors and he's starting to count and that kind of stuff. But this also has cool things like for me, if I want to say, you know, like this is a square and on the back it says what else is shaped like a square and you know, I could say cracker or so it's kind of, it gives me like a dummy's way out too. So I figured he would have fun coloring in these and we could kind of use them as little like flashcards or whatever because it's so weird that he loves flashcards. So I will take it. And then I did get one other thing for him. So I will show you all that. And then everything else is for me. <laughs> so I actually got two sets of these. They were only at $12 and they are puzzles. So this puzzles are, well, this puzzle set are different animals. This one is like opposites. So this would be a, I don't know. It's like mirrored effect kind of things. So I don't know if you can tell. And then this one is mothers and babies. So it's like a big owl, little owl, big elephant, little elephant, big zebra, little zebra, trying to get 
that yeah so it's just little two-piece puzzles and i've already opened one of them up but i wanted to keep this one kind of intact to show y'all but it's really cute and you know since it's just a two-piece puzzle it's not too hard but it's showing them how to put things together so now we're done with the toddler stuff we can move on to a little more beauty <laughs> Okay, so these are bad. I know they're bad. Don't yell at me. I get these every now and then if I'm doing like a Target order or an Amazon order. They're just really nice to have if you're traveling. I keep some in my purse like to wipe off Parker's face if we go through a drive through or anything like that. It's nice to have if I, well, I guess I can't do this anymore, but I was going to say like when I walked into Sephora or Ulta and I was swatching my arm away, I would just take one of these out and wipe it off instead of using the alcohol they have and that kind of stuff. So I don't like to buy big packs anymore, but I do like these single use things just because even though they're wasteful, I know I get it. I don't use them often, but they're really nice to have just like when you need one singular wipe. Okay, so next up we have the two makeup items that have already gotten here. I do have two more makeup items that are still on the way. One should be here tomorrow and one on Saturday, but I will show you these two first. I got my very own Lumi Glotion. I'm very excited about it. I got it in the shade 902 Light Glow. I think this was the second shade. It wasn't the lightest one that they had. This is all that I wore today and I was so happy with just having that like nice glow. And guys, it reminds me so freaking much of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter. Yeah. So these are like, wow, I kind of want to show you on my hand just because it's insane how similar they are. And I know, I think a couple of y'all have actually spoken about this being a dupe. So that down there is the Hollywood filter. And it just gives you like that beautiful shimmer, not shimmer, but like sheen glow to your skin. And then this one actually might be a little bit darker. This Charlotte Tilbury is in three and this just looks a tad bit, maybe not even darker, just more pink. So I'm not sure if you can really tell, but they are very, very similar in finish. So I think both of them are beautiful, but to just like squirt this out and rub it all over my face, I love. So <laughs> the next thing that I have here is finally the House Labs liquid liner in whiskey. I'm so excited to finally have this. I've had the black, I think it's called Punk. I've had that one for months now and it is one of my go-to favorite liners so I'm very excited to have this one. I needed a good a new brown liner. I do have the Benefit Roller Liner which I completely forgot about when I was ordering this. That's kind of always how my brain works but I'm not complaining. I can always use another one and I really do. Like today I have this on and I love that it's just a little bit softer than a total like pitch black wing. So the next two things that will be coming shortly are well, there are two ABH palettes. The first one that'll be getting here is the Modern Renaissance, and I've wanted this palette forever. Like, basically since it came out and I couldn't afford it right then, I wanted it. So I did get that one, and then I also got the Carly Bible palette. And I have heard so many amazing things about this palette. The packaging is so beautiful and stunning and just amazing. But I've heard so many people, and when I was looking through all of the palettes that Amazon sold, I was just... You know, they had the Jackie Ina, they had the first Norvina palette, um, Soft Glam. I do have Soft Glam, but Modern Renaissance and the Carly Bible palette are the two that really spoke to me the most. So I know a lot of y'all have one or the other of those, so I'm really excited to get them and play around with them more. And then next up, I guess I will show y'all this. I don't know if anyone is interested. It is an Apple pencil case, and <laughs> it's literally exactly that. It holds my Apple Pencil. It also has room to hold, you know, whatever else you want to put in here in the picture. I think there was a charger, like a little, like the charger cable, the actual charger cube. They have headphones in here. Um, just, it's kind of just like a little compartment that won't get dirty if I just throw it in my purse. That's what I'm using it as. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like six, seven dollars. And it's just kind of like a, just a harder outer case. So even if my purse gets thrown around, which it happens, more than I would like to admit, <laughs> you know, even if that happens, this won't just fall out and break. So I figured that would be a good safety precaution for me to have. I didn't realize how many like just little stupid things I got until I'm like actually trying to show y'all what I got. But the next thing is this velvet caviar phone case. Guys, look at that. It's like mermaid dreams right there. It's so pretty. It was expensive, but this is supposed to have like 
a guarantee and all this crap on it so it's supposed to be really good it's supposed to have like all this protection velvet caviar is the brand and it was like 29 dollars. so it better be good if not you bet your ass i will be using that warranty that they have and i'm signing up for it tonight next we have the facial razors and i think i get a pack of these almost every time i do like an amazon prime order because so i try to kind of like stock up like i'm doing right now like i get my makeup wipes my little razors just all the stupid shit that i needed to order but i didn't want to just do one order for so this is just a three pack i want to say it was like three dollars this one is the chic silk touch up retouch great multi-purpose beauty tool and it literally says expertly trims and shapes brows smooths your skin by gently exfoliating gently removes fine hairs on face and body so i'm obsessed with these it doesn't have to be this brand anything like this works but i find that you really do have to have a new one every time you go to shave your face or it will not be a good thing. It really does need to be like as sharp as possible for it to do everything that it needs to do. So I would say pick up some backups. If you notice that either you break out after you shave your face, you don't get like a super slick finish, just like if you're not happy with it, I would use a new razor. Not that anyone asked, so I don't even know why I'm like still talking about these. Next, something I'm super, super excited about. This is a reusable cotton swab. It's actually two of them. And one, okay, so it comes in this little case and it just swivels around like this. So one of them is just like this. There's no texture to it. It's very smooth. And this one is for like makeup application, not application, but like makeup touch up. So this is so smooth. You can literally put this in your makeup remover, go fix up your wing, put it in concealer, fix up your wing. Like this is so perfect because every time I've ever done that with a Q-tip, the little hairs from the cotton always just leave like the tiniest little squiggles and no one else would ever notice it, but I do and it drives me insane. So this is more for like makeup touch ups and stuff. And then this one is actually supposed to be to clean inside of your ears. And that is why there are little textured ball looking things on either end, but it does really feel like it would like get in there and really clean it. So I'm kind of excited to use this and see how it feels. And I just love, you know, they're silicone, super easy to clean. I don't remember how much this was off the top of my head. It wasn't more than $10 and it came in a whole bunch of different colors. I just like, you know, anything I can that isn't using 15 Q-tips a day, isn't using this and this and this, like, I feel like this is so nice. So I will also let y'all know how I like these in my little updates video. And the next thing I got, I'm very excited about, mostly because I feel like every beauty guru has these now. And I'm pretty sure I got the knockoff version because everything is in Chinese or Japanese or something, but they are these hair clips. And I'm sure you have seen them before. They are just the flat clips that, you know, clip your hair back. I don't even know why I'm showing, you know how a hair clip works, obviously, but they are supposed to be really good for not bending your hair and creasing it and stuff, especially if you have like just done it and you, I don't know, I feel like second, third day hair, it doesn't bend as easily, but right when I wash and dry my hair, it bends like that. So these will be nice for that. I got, couple white ones, blue ones, pink ones, black ones, and they also came in yellow. I want to say they were like five dollars for all of these, so these will be nice to have since I lose clips like it's my job. Okay, I think this is the last thing before the last thing, which is my most exciting thing. <laughs> all right, so that took me a second to get all unwrapped, but it is simply a palette holder, which I am so excited about. I don't know if you can really see back there that Scott Barnes palette and all of those, they are in something similar to this, but it's about half the actual width. So the Scott Bars palette is basically too big to even be in there. I need to have smaller palettes in there. Like the Charlotte Silbury palette would be too long to go in there, but it fits perfect in here. And you know, I have a lot of palettes that are kind of longer like this. Like just in front of me, I have four in the off. Uh, <laughs> So, I don't know, I just feel like these work out so much better. I really wanted to see if my Pat McGrath palettes would fit in this. Oh, they do. I'm so excited. Okay, so now this might be moving back one, but I'm very excited to have somewhere to put my Pat McGrath palettes where they don't have to be in a drawer hidden away and I can kind of display them now that I am trying to really go through all my makeup 
see what makes me happy, see what I need to get rid of, and all of that jazz. So I'm really stupidly excited over this acrylic organizer. <laughs> I got two of them and yeah, that's that. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing from this haul is what I'm about to show you, but I just remembered I got some other acrylic organizers maybe a month ago off of Amazon, maybe not that long ago, a couple weeks ago, whatever. I got them off of Amazon and that's kind of like how I'm trying to organize all of my makeup now. So if y'all want to see those or like Amazon favorites or any other Amazon videos, let me know. I would love to do them and I love these kind of videos where I can just like sit down and chill and like tell y'all about stuff that I love. <laughs> Okay, so last and definitely not least, I got a facial steamer. <laughs> I think between the facial cleansing brush and this steamer, I am most excited over these for sure. So like, look how, look how cute. And these together are both like $40. The steamer was 20 and the spin brush was 20. So right there, like, I just feel like that's such a good deal and it's, seems super easy i have not used it yet you bet your ass i'm using this tonight there is a little thing back here <laughs> you put your water in i have no idea how because i have not read any directions but you literally put the water back in here and then you push this and you just steam away and i'm so excited because i've noticed when i actually like gone into steam rooms like say i'm staying at a hotel and i actually go into their steam room for 10 minutes a day my skin looks so much better and it's almost like you're giving yourself like the at-home facial experience so i definitely want to use this like not every night i'm not even going to say i'm going to use it every night because god knows that will never happen i do not have time for that but maybe once or twice a week i think using this for a little at home spa night will be really nice and i thought it was really cool it came with this little kit and it's basically like a facial extraction kit i'm gonna leave it in here to show you just because i think the black background would probably be best for y'all to see but it came with two different pairs of scissors one has kind of like a safety on them we have like literal skin extractors and tweezers, another little picky thing, black head remover, a little hook anchor thing. I mean, you have like a full little facial kit between this, this, and then if you add in that spin brush, like you're good. You never need to go to a, I'm not going to say that because I'm still going to want to go get a facial. I've actually never gotten a facial. I know, crazy, but I mean, I guess it's not that crazy. I'm assuming. Most people probably haven't gotten facials and I'm just thinking that YouTubers are normal people because they go and get facials all the time, but <laughs> okay. I think that is everything for this haul. I did get a bunch of stuff. I will link whatever I can find down below. I will definitely link the spin brush and the little Q-tip thing, the facial steamer, this little palette organizer. I think it was like $6, something like that. So yeah, I will let y'all go. I hope y'all enjoyed this kind of video. If you do, definitely let me know and I will do... I do need to have one more Amazon order and I will show you all the stuff that I got from my last Amazon order and I can do an Amazon favorites video. So I could do quite a bit with that if y'all do like these. I will let you go. I hope you're having a great day, night, evening, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.